Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to the weekly news in VR. Today I'll be talking about Medal of Honor on Quest, B Haptics launches not one but two new haptic vests, the Lynx R1 headset launches with industry leading hand tracking and finally Sony extend a small morsel of comfort to PSVR owners. So let's get straight into it then and remember, we're born to respawn. Before we jump into the news, my channel is growing rapidly at the moment, so if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please subscribe and consider dropping a like on this video. It would be much appreciated. Thank you. There may actually be a port of Medal of Honor, the upcoming World War II shooter from Respawn for the Oculus Quest. Oculus Studios producer Mark Dorham was asked if there was ever a chance of the game coming to Quest. His reply was intriguing. We are going to try once the PC SKU is finished. The article and Upload VR was then updated with a direct response to the report. Mike Doran clarified the company's position and I quote, We absolutely want to bring the game to Quest but we don't want to compromise the PC version to make that happen. Once the PC content is final we will assess what it would take to get above and beyond on Quest and with that exercise complete we'll be able to make a decision. Medal of Honor Above and Beyond is an extremely large complicated game. Such a port would not be trivial and we won't do it if we don't think we can deliver on quality. So you've got to admire Doran's commitment to the game. If it ain't good enough, it ain't happening. My train of thought took me to this conclusion. Once the PC version is done and out, they'll look at porting to Quest and Quest 2, but it's my belief that the original Quest won't be able to manage such a large and complicated game. So if there is a port, it will be Quest 2 only. What do you think? Are you excited for Medal of Honor? I know I am. Get involved, comment down below. It's time for Anorak Corner, featuring Malcolm. Did you know that during planning for the D-Day landings in 1944, the three beaches assigned to British forces were originally named after fish. Swordfish, jellyfish and goldfish. The Canadians, however, objected to landing at a beach called Jellyfish, so they made a compromise and it was renamed Juno Beach. I was stung by a jellyfish once. My mother had to pee on my leg. She's 82. Sony have extended a small morsel of comfort to PSVR owners looking to upgrade to a PS5. PlayStation blog post, the company stated that games with unlocked frame rates or dynamic resolution up to 4K may see higher fidelity. To prove this, they dragged a rep from Sony London, who confirmed that the PSVR exclusive Blood and Truth will have an update that allows high resolution and a frame rate of 90 Hz. Why build up a base of 5 million users and then abandon them while they wait for a headset that may or may not turn up in 2022? Sony haven't just dropped the ball here, they've taken said ball bent every PSVR user over a table and shoved the ball somewhere the sun doesn't shine. Well done! Do you like that meme? I did that myself. Very chuffed with how it turned out. Do you have a PSVR? How do you feel about Sony's treatment of users? Got a news story that I've missed? Get involved and comment down below. And now it's time for... Noob of the Week! To give what is considered to be industry leading <laughs> pornography exerts a disproportionate influence on technology. No, it's true. If it wasn't for Pornhub, your internet would be shit. Trust me, I've, um, I've done extensive research on the matter. But Mac, you ask, what has this got to do with VR? Well, B Haptics, a South Korean startup company specializing in haptic vests and accessories, have announced they are taking pre-orders for their two newest products. The Taksuit X40 at $500 and the less powerful Taksuit X16, priced at $300. They do look very snazzy, don't they? But you can't see where I'm going with this, can you? There are, there are 4.2 million porn sites on the internet. No, I don't know why someone would count them. Maybe Malcolm. But that's the figure, and fans of the long-running British sci-fi comedy series Red Dwarf have just figured out where I'm going with this. and take a look at this. <laughs> Sir, it really is quite urgent. Groin sockets. I'm telling you, if they develop a groin socket and team up with Pornhub, B Haptics will be bigger than Amazon overnight. 
Full body haptics and a VR headset is the next step in porn development. Anybody listening from B Haptics, you can thank me for this idea by sending lots of £10 notes to the usual address. <laughs> Putting all that nonsense to one side, the X16 is targeting a home audience and a more expensive X40 looking towards the enterprise focused market. So if anybody from B Haptics is watching this, I would very much like to try this out. Are you interested in haptics? Would you pay $500 for the experience? Grind socket not included. And our final news item today is that the Lynx R1, the upcoming standalone mixed reality and augmented reality headset, has been delayed to late 2020, but the company says they're targeting a lower price and now include Ultra Leap hand tracking. Ultra Leap Gemini is an innovative solution that uses infrared illuminator to give what is considered to be industry leading hand tracking solution. The company expected to start shipping late summer 2020, priced at $1,500, but that was put on hold due to the pandemic. Wait, what, $1,500? Are you sure, really? That's me out. To be fair, it is aimed at the commercial sector and that IR illumination could have repercussions for hand tracking in consumer VR headsets in the future. But for now, we'll leave that story there. Well, that's all for today. Feel free to share, like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. Shit, no way he's just get me down Where, there. Where the fuck is he? Where is he? Uh, right inside the building, he's building, he's building. Nice. Oh, he's uh, uh, over the lift. Yep, 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 yep. Nice. nice. That was huge.